Uh, my name is Tim. I'm Val. And together we uh, converted an American school bus into a Pau Chasing hostel. So a few weeks ago I came across these guys online, who with the help of a successful Indiegogo campaign have imported an American school bus to turn it into a moving adventure hotel. And I thought to myself, shit, I have to see this. It's a, a hostel on wheels, the first, I think, in its kind, because we want to chase uh, powder and waves with the, with the hostel itself. It basically enables us to do everything that we love to do, like all our passions are in this project. We can cook, we can teach snowboarding, we can build, we can explore. We had it in our mind for a while to, to convert a school bus into a house. That was like an idea we had. We were thinking about converting one ourselves to live in and then maybe why not combine it with our job. Found a bus on eBay, so we pulled the bus on eBay. We went to get it in Tennessee, so we rented a car, drove up to Tennessee and then drove it to Florida, shipped it to Belgium from there and then we flew to Belgium and then a month later it arrived, something yeah. like that. Yeah, well five weeks later it arrived and then we got it with my brother who had a, a, a license to drive it. And then we went to our first spot in Leuven, it's a Belgian city close to Brussels. A friend of mine had a big house there with a big field and we could park the bus in there and then we put all our tents around there where we could sleep in and then during the day we were working in the bus. This is um, where we're going to have our bed. And here's going to be the shower. Uh, there will be two triple bunk beds. The wood stove. Here we're going to make a platform. This will all be from wood. How's life on the bus been since you've... How long have you moved in? Been living here? Two months, about, I think. Yeah, I think so. yeah, two months. It's great, I, I like Amazing. it. It's a house, it's a home, and it feels cozy. And everybody who comes in here, they all say the same thing. It's, it's warm and it nice. Feels and it feels almost like too big when we don't have guests. People can book a bed with us, and they also can, they will get food and even uh, snowboarding uh, lessons if they want. But the, the goal is to, that they come to us and that we move with the bus, so it's, it's a hostel on wheels. Instead of booking a hotel and you're stuck in one place and there's no snow or no waves or no nothing, we just go Where and move everything is best. best. <laughs> it's like the ultimate hotel hostel. You recently had a baby. <laughs> there's an extra little one living in here right now, yeah, that's true. Little Fena, she's now uh, five weeks old. Yes. She'll be joining us, but we think that's an amazing thing that she can grow up in this lifestyle and with always new people around her and outside in nature. Yeah, welcome to the Nomads bus. This is our home, this is our driver area. Our living room. You can make a bed, you can connect these tables so you can sit here with 10 people. It's hidden underneath, we have baskets and stuff. And here we have the kitchen. Here we have an oven, a 12 volt fridge. Here we have the dorm room, which sleeps six. This is our very soundproof door, made by Tim himself, with a sheep wool inside. Every guest gets a closet space. Here we have the shower, and then we have our compost toilet, our washing machine slash dryer. And this is uh, where Tim and I sleep, and baby Fena, and Louis, our dog sleeps underneath there. And uh, that's it. Is there anything you would say to anyone else who kind of like is on the, is thinking about doing something similar or, yeah, you know, go wants to just go for it. <laughs> Don't think about it, just do it.